Ah, yes, that unmistakable sound, the mating song of the male cicada. The insects started to emerge from their underground homes. We're seeing it all over town. Now, it's not a full-on <laughs> invasion quite yet, but you may have seen one, two, maybe three, depending on where you live already. Yeah, or in Local 12 producer Dave Slater's case, several dozen covering the tree and ground town green township we saw. But what you didn't see in the picture is the birds where they were picking off all those cicadas like it was just a buffet. Ooh, turns out <laughs> it's <they> not <laughs> just birds looking for a cicada snack. Local 12's Cassie Arsenal joining us now live with the ways that people are looking to turn them into a uh, delicacy. Is that what they're calling this? <laughs> and uh, Cassie, a little bird told me that you, my friend, are not a big fan of the cicadas. I was hoping you were going to go with me to try the cicada pizza later this year. <laughs> Listen, it's not that I hate cicadas. I don't like any bugs, so let's start there. <laughs> but cicadas are front of mind right now after 17 years officially popping up in people's backyards at this time. But some are doing something a little crazy to celebrate their homecoming. They literally want a piece of Brood 10. They want to eat these things. It goes like this. <laughs> For the next three weeks. Cicadas are starting to dig their way up through the ground. I've been waiting 17 years on this. And the soon-to-be invasion has a hype buzzing throughout the tri-state, causing people like Mark Borison to dress as the bug. Yeah, I literally am wearing the shells of their people. Others are singing about the insect. And now people want to eat it. Oh, we have crickets, everyone's favorite. You know, then the larvae. Jungle Gyms is worried their bug section sales will plummet, as no suppliers have the adored bug for sale. We've got the request out there to our vendors. We are ready. We want cicada pops. And Sweets and Meats Barbecue is ready to appeal to a new type of customer and tap into that insect craze. There's absolutely a market. Look at how many food shows are dedicated to unique delicacies all around the world. I mean, people eat insects year round. But they are running into red tape. It's not as easy as collecting the bug and smoking it up in their delicious cherry wood chips. Unfortunately, we're part of a chef's group online and we found out that you have to go through an approved source uh, for cicadas because obviously for human consumption, you want to make sure they're safe. And there is a fungus running rampant in cicadas right now. The fungus is pretty well widespread here in Cincinnati. The, uh, the massive spora fungus that the cicadas get occurs about three out of every 10 cicadas. Dr. Jean Kritsky, the expert on all things cicada, counters that sauteing it up may be a waste of time. I've had them deep fat fried uh, with sauce. I've had them uh, sauteed in a stir fry. Uh, and uh, uh, I didn't find them exceptional. Uh, I didn't find them totally distasteful. They had a very green flavor to me. Whether you love them or hate them, want to dress up like them or eat them or stay far away from them, they are here. So mind as well embrace the buzz. So here's what you need to know if you do want to eat a cicada. Dr. Kritsky told me that you want to grab them when they're still on the tree, when they're still white, they haven't turned to a darker color yet. That most likely means they don't have any fungus on them. But he said, just in case, put that bug on ice until you are ready to eat or prepare it however you please. Reporting live, I'm Cassie Arsenal, Local 12 News. Oh, All no. Right. You did not convince me. Listen, I'm inviting Cassie and I'm inviting Paula to my house. I'm going to make some cicadas for you. I'll deep fry them and we'll have a good old time. Oh, I'll watch, but I won't But know. Cassie's like, I don't <laughs> even want to deal with you guys right now. Cassie, great report. Thank you so much, my friend. The fungus added another level. That just that. But that he said it. if you get them at the right time, you don't have to worry about that. If I have to that. be overthinking this, we're done thinking it. John